Welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating questions about the future of humanity. If Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars comes true, what type of government would we see on the Red Planet? And would Elon Musk set himself up as the King of Mars? Let's explore the possibilities. Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX, has been one of the leading advocates for colonizing Mars. His goal? To make life multiplanetary. Musk envisions building a self-sustaining city on Mars, housing up to a million people within the next century. But with a new society comes the big question. How would we govern it? The idea of governance on Mars opens up many possibilities. Would Elon Musk assume a leadership role similar to a king or ruler? Or would we see a more democratic system? Let's look at some potential models. While Musk has joked about being the imperator of Mars, it's unlikely he would actually take on a monarchical role. Here's why. First, monarchies are usually at odds with the democratic values that most of us cherish. Second, controlling a population of diverse backgrounds and opinions through authoritarian means could lead to unrest. And third, maintaining such control from millions of kilometers away would be incredibly difficult. One possibility is a direct democracy, where every colonist has a direct say in decision-making. This model fits well with the pioneering spirit of a Mars colony and would encourage transparency and accountability. With a small initial population, it could be practical to vote on laws and policies directly. However, as the population grows, this might become unwieldy and could lead to decisions being driven by the loudest voices rather than reasoned debate. As the colony expands, it might transition to a representative democracy. This system would see colonists elect representatives to make decisions on their behalf, balancing participation with efficiency. Representative democracy is scalable and could include checks and balances to prevent abuses of power. However, this would require the development of a constitution and legal framework unique to the needs of Martian society. Another potential model is corporate governance, given the private nature of the initial colonization efforts led by SpaceX. Imagine Mars being run like a company, with Elon Musk and SpaceX executives as the board of directors. This could provide clear leadership and efficient decision-making, especially during the colony's early stages. But this raises ethical concerns. Could colonists be exploited for profit? And would their rights be respected under a corporate system? The governance of Mars wouldn't just be about practical management. There are significant legal and ethical questions to address. The Outer Space Treaty, signed in 1967, prohibits nations from claiming sovereignty over celestial bodies and emphasizes that space exploration should benefit all humanity. How would this treaty apply to a colony funded and established by a private company? And what ethical guidelines would ensure the protection of human rights and the Martian environment? Technology will play a crucial role in Martian governance. AI could assist with decision-making, analyzing data to prioritize the colony's needs. Blockchain technology might ensure secure and transparent voting, minimizing corruption, and ensuring that every vote counts. But there's a flip side. Who controls the technology? And what happens if it's misused? The role of Earth governments and international organizations Mars colonization might start as a private endeavor, but it's likely to attract the attention of Earth governments and international organizations. Could we see the formation of an international governing body for Mars, ensuring that no single entity holds all the power? While this might provide checks and balances, differing national interests and power struggles could complicate matter. So, would Elon Musk be the king of Mars? Probably not. While his leadership and vision will play a significant role in the early days of Martian colonization, the sustainability of a Martian society will likely depend on more inclusive and adaptable forms of governance. Whether it's direct democracy, representative democracy, or a new form of corporate leadership, the future of Mars will be shaped by the collective efforts and choices of its inhabitants. Thanks for watching. 
What do you think the government of a Mars colony should look like? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos about the future of space exploration.